On Tuesday, December 5th, 16-year-old cheerleader Lisbeth Medina was found dead by her mother, Jacqueline Medina, in the bathroom of their apartment. As tragic as this was, and there have been tributes that have been pouring in left and right with the passing here of Lisbeth, we now have information that an arrest has officially been made in this case. We're going to talk all about it in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, that's kind of my only option. As I stated here on Tuesday, December 5th, this was an extremely hard day for Jacqueline Medina as she found her 16-year-old daughter, Lisbeth, dead in their apartment bathroom. This was, of course, after she had tried contacting Lisbeth for several hours, was unable to get a hold of her. She had gone out previously to look for her, had then come back to the apartment to change clothes where she had contacted a family member to help her try and find Lisbeth. She had stepped into the bathroom and that's when she noticed her daughter's foot there in the bathtub and discovered what she said at the time was like a scene in a horror movie. Absolutely terrible. Lisbeth was a beloved cheerleader of Edna High School. She was scheduled to participate in the school's upcoming Christmas parade, something that she had worked very hard for. Her mother described her as just a loving, sweet girl, never got in any trouble you know, she wasn't that type of kid at all. And in fact, she'd begun hearing from many of Elizabeth's friends that she really helped to change their lives. She was somebody that was very impactful, inspiring, and she could not understand how somebody could just come in and take her daughter from her the way that they did. Now, weeks prior to Elizabeth's death, their apartment had been broken into. And this is something that Jacqueline said she felt was connected here uh, to the death of her daughter. Now we have an update because police have now made an arrest in this case. There was an arrest made on Saturday, December 9th. This was in Schulenburg, Texas. Police arrested a man by the name of Rafael Govia Romero. And what a surprise. Police informed everybody here in the update that in fact, Rafael was and illegal. Shocker, right? And of course, being there in Texas, we know this is something that is a major problem and has been for quite some time. So he is now being charged with the capital murder of Elizabeth Medina, which, you know, everybody is very happy about this arrest. Jacqueline is still calling for justice here. And of course, we are hoping that this individual gets the max sentence that would come with what he has just done. Whether or not, you know, he knew Lisbeth or had been, you know, you know, seeking her out, that we don't know. We don't, we don't know if there's if there was any sort of connection or whatever. Again, there was a break in at the apartment that occurred weeks prior. The police are still investigating and I'm sure they're going to see if they can, you know, tie that in here uh, with Romero. That remains to be seen. So as good as this arrest is, and it's great that this guy is, you know, off the streets and he can't hurt anybody else, uh, continue to pray for Jacqueline Medina and their entire family, because again, this is something that they're going to be dealing with for a long time. Jacqueline said that Elizabeth was her world. She meant everything to her, and now she's no longer here. And I know that they had a tribute game at Edna High School for Elizabeth and you know they had all of her gear there they honored her uh, which is truly amazing and that's just an awesome thing and you know I welcome anybody if you you know were friends with Elizabeth if you knew her if your family anybody that would like to say anything maybe you, you know you attend school with her feel free to leave your thoughts down below here in the comment section uh, to just you know pay tribute and your respects to the family and for Elizabeth and we will make sure to continue to keep the entire Medina family here in our prayers. And speaking of that, you know, this is something that, you know, I want to end this video on hope because this is something that I do on all my videos. It's, it's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines and I 
keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. You know, the Bible says it in the last days that men's hearts will be fixated upon evil continually. A fixation is an obsession, and that's a scary thought if you think about it, that, that the heart of man would be obsessed with evil continually, all the time, not allowing an opportunity for even a break. But that fixation, and, and this, you can tie this into Jacqueline's question about why somebody would do this to her daughter. Men's heart, man's heart, is fixated on evil. For anybody watching me right now, if you're somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. I welcome your thoughts here on Elizabeth Medina, uh, your prayers, your well wishes, your tributes, whatever you'd like to say. Uh, feel free to go ahead and leave that below. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.